I'm going to show another way here to mask out objects for painting. So in a previous video, I covered being able to create a layer and then being able to use the uh, polygon fill, being able to fill by elements or being able to fill by your um, UVs, of course, you know, right in your UV window. And uh, that was great. Um, but it isn't the only way to do it. Some time ago, and I always forget about this feature, they added the ability to be uh, to filter out a given layer or a given group of layers uh, with a folder um, by object itself. So if you come over and click on these items here, you'll get that. So I'm going to create a new layer, and it's going to be all my metal bits. So I'm going to call this metal bits, let's say. And I'm going to stick in a, a fill layer, which I always like to do just to get a basic idea. I'm going to leave it that kind of color. I'm going to make it really, really metally. And we get this uh, cool metallic look over everything. It's, I think that's done there and now anyways. But, you know, maybe we should texture a bit more. So I'm going to click on that um, you know, filter. Now it lists all the parts by name. Uh, one thing I've noticed is uh, I had named them sequentially here, and when I updated the mesh using the re import mesh, it didn't update the names. It kept the names the same and it wouldn't update these. So I'd gone back and updated them so I could uh, understand them better, but they're not here uh, for whatever reason. Now we can easily just roll down and click off, and you'll notice that. There, that is now no longer all that funky looking metal. And it tells you how many layers are being used. So you can go down and find those. I'm not going to include that one. Um, so I'm going to go with the metal handle, the metal plates here, um, the, uh, the metal corners, um, and maybe even this uh, edge around the outside edge. Essentially, I want parts that over, are not overlapping each other so that when I paint on them, um, I can I can paint uh, on the individual pieces essentially without spilling over into other things. So I'm going to keep all the rivets as a separate uh, layer as well and the like. Now you can check these on and off um, in here, or you can actually go ahead and check them on and off directly in the actual object itself. So I can click on that rivet. I can click on these little rivets, um, you know, and I can move them off into another layer, for instance. So That'll actually help you a fair bit. You can also just roll over them and you'll see that it's highlighting. So I can see which ones that I'm grabbing a hold of as I go down. And it looks like I've got everything I need there. So everything now is going to be masked by those uh, geometry masks that you've got working now. That's a little faster and easier than necessarily creating the, um, the, the uh, mask, the you know fill mask. Um, but, you know, it effectively is, uh, you know, achieving exactly the same thing to be able to mask your layers out.